Hello, it's Guys Talk Radio. I am here, your host, <laughs> Sorry Moon. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Don't you try and step in the spotlight. No, okay. just joking. Okay, hi. hi. This is your host. <laughs> <laughs> we always tell him he needs to be more vocal. It's true. It's true. He does need to be more vocal. Hi, I'm Drone. Uh, I would say I'm probably the worst talk show... <laughs> talk show host on the internet, so let's go ahead and start with that. Uh, to my right is Soaring Moon. He is my co-host, is also the mad scientist of the group. That is correct. It, very true. I'm sure that you have some kind of, like, awkward girl up in your room. The you've made square just... of two legs is the hypotenuse of something. <laughs> were we I just... completely forgot that line. From were, we just making, were we just making clitoris jokes on the way back? We Isn't were making exactly clitoris jokes that... on the way back, so we decided to make an episode about stand-up stand comedy. comedy. Yeah. Oh, wait. So... And talking about comedy, uh, Kaboom's to my left. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's real just, funny, guys. Just in case you want to know, he is the only person that I know that is slightly, extremely OCD. Okay, so you, um, I walked <laughs> through the store and... <laughs> They can't see my expression, but me, OCD? No, I said slightly extremely. He is extremely. He is like, oh, hey, this number is not where it's supposed to be. And then he sits down and spends 14 hours figuring Stocking it out. Stocking shelves? Yeah. About that. So, Walmart, if you didn't know, lies to all of their customers. So... <laughs> no, sure. <laughs> Not say, not saying that they're you know, uh, but um, they do an arrangement of the shelves called zoning. Yeah. To which they call zone defense, pulling all of the uh, items that customers push back onto the shelves up forward, so it makes it look like they have more. Yeah. And I'm sitting on the, I'm sitting there on the shelves of a roller, being like five or six millimeters in this direction. <laughs> I'm eating a Snickers. <laughs> uh, turns out it was 3D pod white. <laughs> oh my god. It's all about the like girth. Like it showed. It's all about the girth. <laughs> it's all like about the girth. It's like it showed. <laughs> Not millimeters. Oh. Full inches. Three inches. <laughs> full, a whole three inches. Okay, so we were walking by the a girl in the... Uh, oh! Uh, okay, we went to the gas station. We walked by this girl, and... I was like, I go, that she's obviously your type of soaring, and because she's not. She's, she's attractive, right? But she's the kind of attractive you would see smoking pot, not and the kind of attractive you would see um, anywhere I socialize. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't do clubs. I don't do, I'm not my father. Any. <laughs> Talking about stocking shelves, I once thought I got super uh, powers while stocking um st <clears throat> stocking waters. I uh, I was in the cooler stocking waters at this convenience store I worked at, and I'm stocking the Fiji water, and I put one on the shelf, and it froze instantly, and I'm like, <laughs> and then you're like, and then I did it again. I don't understand super. <laughs> And then, and then, months later, I, uh, Soaring uh, sits me down, and we, we're watching the science videos, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> that oh, explains everything. I, oh, I am a mere mortal. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, now explain my control over technology. That's true. Uh, the electron, it's in your body. Yeah, uh, I have three roaming electrons in my body that allow me to turn lights on and off. You're just a fucking Jedi. <laughs> You haven't okay. told us yet. Well, uh, a <laughs> Jedi, a Jedi then can only mind control droids. <laughs> yeah, like Obi Wan. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. These are not the droids we're looking for. Then is it the right movie? Yeah, but the first three don't matter. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. These are not the droids we're looking for. Um, can I make you do anything else? <laughs> yes. Give me your wallet. <laughs> Give, Give me your, your wallet. <laughs> I'm a machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, he says that the stormtroopers though. Can you give me his I wallet? Know. No. <laughs> Is it a violation of a direct order? No. I'm confused. <laughs> then blow up. <laughs> that was a question. Oh, and then after he had mentioned um, 
this, uh, this uh, girl, because I gave a steering look at her, I'm sure. Um, as That's I walked why by. I made the comment. I was like, she's not my type. And I'm like, uh, it's like, oh, so you said something about the clitoris. Okay, okay, my, um, I told her, I was like, your pickup line for girls like that should be, um, hey, I bet your boyfriend can't even say clitoris, so how is he supposed to please you? <laughs> and I told, told him I don't use pickup lines uh, when I'm dating. No, I, I'm not doing serious things, like, <laughs> talking. Like, yeah, normally my pick, pickup lines uh, 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 amount to, I find you attractive. <laughs> Pretty blunt. <laughs> to the point. You're attractive, I'm not so attractive, but I'm fucking intelligent. <laughs> I can make you... I, I'm not attractive, but I can do your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect reason to get married. <laughs> I hate marriage. I know. Not yeah. you, then. <laughs> well, they can get married to someone else. <laughs> yeah, somebody that can do taxes and say, has the money to do them. <laughs> um, did you just fall from heaven? Or did you fall down the stairs? Did you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> I could just... With as blunt as you are, I could obviously see you being like... You walk in, and you're just like, Hi, how are you doing today? I have a long, thin, maneuverable tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your face, but I would love to fuck you from behind. <laughs> I have five minutes. Would I do it? Can I squirt all <laughs> over your jiggly puffs? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, really? 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 Yes, Making really. random noises and shit? <laughs> Does that sound crunchy? It's crunchy. <laughs> That's how I test the microphone, by the way. It is how we test the microphone. It's hilarious. It's All right, genius. so, like, um... That was gonna say. It's not good for a stand show. Oh, if that's when you improv off an... Oh, oh! That would be called oh. event horizon. <laughs> Now we can see if, if you guys want to make you guys make a chart. Soren got that joke. <laughs> Kaboom didn't make a chart and show their intelligence levels. Whoa, whoa. Just based that off has that nothing joke. to do that with has intelligence. Nothing to do with how intelligent I am. It's everything else I do. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's like I, I, I was gonna no. say, I was gonna say that. See when I when I took that little test to get into college. <laughs> right. And, and I you scored higher. I completely tested out of some things while I'm sitting here doing remedial math. Tested out of everything but English. I did remedial math, and right? Math. In remedial writing, my teacher, I wrote my first paper because I was in class with people like, uh, it isn't how it is, but it do, right? <laughs> that's how they talk and write. Yeah, that's how they talk, talk and I grade their paper. <laughs> <laughs> But I wrote my first paper, and I handed it to the teacher, and she comes back to me, and she's just like, why the fuck are you here? Except for more Russian. Very an accent. <laughs> yeah, sounded much more, more Russian. Uh, more Russian, and aggressive, and my... attractive, but she's 70. <laughs> my English... confused. Oh, you might, have, you might have had that English teacher I had. My penis I had. was confused. <laughs> oh, because the English teacher I had spoke five languages, and she was old. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not sure which one. He's... I, I don't know. Was she aggressive? A little bit. Depends. Cause she's from Scandinavia. Well, <laughs> one, well, one of those two. <laughs> she's from a country in the Ukraine area. Yeah, Vicky might be that girl. <laughs> okay. Same one. So, she was an so, awesome English teacher. So what you're telling yeah, me she is was that... an awesome teacher. Like, she, she, she came up to me, literally, pulled me out of the class and said, what the, why the fuck are you here? So <laughs> you're telling me that if she spoke and she was, and you closed your eyes and imagined somebody 50 years younger, you'd be fine. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's what you're trying to get across here. Yeah. That's the, the entire story. The voice was attractive, right? The voice was attractive. The... But everything else, like, eh. <laughs> the voice doesn't fit the body. Like, gilf. <laughs> <laughs> I had another. He's like, he's my like, I try it once. My second English teacher was pretty cool too. I literally did a paper on the Lion King. Hey, Six you know what? Six break my bones, whips and chains, excitement. You know what? That is so overused. I know. So, so overused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, overused oh, jokes. You want these memes? <laughs> I, I didn't was... know what memes were until like a couple of years ago. <laughs> until, until the cake is alive? That's a meme. Yeah, but I didn't know what a meme was. Oh. He didn't know what Did it you was. pronounce it meme? No. Okay, good. At least you were one of those people. No, I just didn't know what a meme was because I don't internet. 
No, I don't internet. I like I don't internet. Only reason I still have my Facebook is because I my internet. girlfriend. What? You internet a lot. You're addicted. Oh, is this an intervention? No. Do I'm we just... need a twelve step program for an atheist? Uh, <laughs> no, no. You must believe that there is a higher power. No. Yeah, a higher power for me to fucking get on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up. I hear, I hold hear power up. for me to Here, let me make this. this pint of Jack Daniels. <laughs> we have that in the fri freeze freezer. Yeah, but Doc drank out of it. Out, out that of cold it. box. So They have it in the cold box. What? We have I a actually, pint of rum. I actually sometimes refer to refrigerators as ice boxes. I, Which isn't a wrong, because they used to be called that. I don't because you push you put ice in the box. Yeah, ice box. I don't really drink box anymore. Box for ice. Oh, uh, I guess secondarily food, but like like it's weird. The box was for the ice. I, I just want to point out whenever I stopped really drinking, for the most part, like you started drinking a lot more. <laughs> well, we we drink in moderation. Well, no, like, like a lot of moderation. He used to not really like, drink. We don't at need all. a moderator. Still don't we really moderate ourselves. Yeah. But you drink more than I do. Like, our our drink drinks are safety sources. Yeah, but, but whenever I get whenever I get drunk, I get I've, drunk I've, and I don't stop <laughs> until I. I've asleep. never been, you know, really drunk. I tried. But I've it been, never works. Uh, that's because you have a tendency to like stop yourself. I stop myself. I can't. I can't push myself even ever farther because I get to a point where like, hmm, I'm getting. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm now getting intoxicated. <laughs> you become smarter. There's, there's just there's this. He needs a top hat and a monocle. One point that programmers get to where they reach an optimum level of drunkenness in order to work on projects. Well, okay. I I just want to imagine that voice of Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> there's just this voice in the back of your head. You're getting intoxicated. You're getting intoxicated. And then you're like, oh, oh yeah, you're right, Sean Connery. I should probably stop drinking. <laughs> like intoxication incoming. <laughs> you know what the only thing that makes me think of is uh, number one. Go take a uh, number two. What, oh, what's his number name? Number one. Take a number two. Ferguson. Number two. Urinating. <laughs> Craig, Craig Ferguson did a stand-up thing back in 2008, and one of the jokes he makes is about Sean Connery. Ferguson? And he goes, "I'm not the guy with the watermelon, right?" No, Craig no. Ferguson, he's the talk he's show that. host. He's a talk show host. Oh. He's, he's the, the guy with the water mug. Gallagher. Oh. In well. Soviet Russia, who shoots you? <laughs> Soviet Russia. But no, anyway. Uh, Russia, you don't swash water um, mugs. Water mugs are special. Okay. Uh, Craig Ferguson is Germany. A, <laughs> uh, a Scottish yeah. stand-up comedian. Okay. And he talks about how fucked up Highlander is, mm -hmm. the TV show, because... The guy that plays the legendary Scottish warrior in Highlander is from, like, Denmark or someplace like that. And Sean Connery, who is literally a legendary Scotsman, <laughs> yeah. is the Spaniard. And the thing is, is that Sean Connery, it doesn't matter what you put him in. This was the point he was making, was that it doesn't matter what you put him in. He's just like, I'm Sean Connery, I'm fucking Spanish. And you're going $100 million to dollar film. Yeah, and everyone's like, well, he's fucking Spanish. He doesn't have, like, he doesn't even have to act oh, yeah. in the accent. Like, I'm Spanish. Um, uh, I'm Russian. What was that? Uh, Hunt for Red October, yeah. He, I'm, a I'm, Russian, Russian, I'm a Russian submarine captain. Okay, well, he's Russian. Gotcha. I'm a Russian submarine captain. <laughs> I'm a Japanese submarine captain. I'm a... I'm a British misogynist spy. Okay, well, he's British. Very obviously from London. Got it. <laughs> Nailed, it. Spy. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Just oh, right out the head. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> what? Next, they're going to cast him as 008. 008. <laughs> Why would they need to do that? Because well, the 007 was... is already taken by a British man. Wait. Scotsman. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, well, the new... Shots fired. <laughs> the, the new... It's a little silent in here for a fucking the, talk show. The new, <laughs> <laughs> the new Bond. What's mm -hmm. his name? Gold Do you know Bond? Who... I mean, what? Gold no, Bond. not Gold Bond. <laughs> oh, you mean Goldfinger or James Bond? No, I mean 
He's um, so far up John James Connery's Stanger. ass. The guy that should be an Olympic swimmer instead of a British spy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so wait, shaven, I wait, mistook, mistook wait. him for a baby. Who? Michael Phelps? <laughs> that's the actor! Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> Michael Phelps, thank you. God, I can never remember his <laughs> he's name. He's an Olympic swimmer instead of a... He's our, yeah, he's a British spy. Michael Phelps. <laughs> what? Well, he's an actor. He's obviously a good actor. Oh, he's play, yeah. clearly an American spy. Oh, oh, hey. medals. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, he went into this Olympic Because if it was a British spy, you only ha have five. <laughs> well, you see. That was an Olympic joke. Are... That was a military <laughs> joke. What three was items over would you... Over decorate our That was good, right? That was genius. That was, like, deep Great. on, like, eight levels of... Wah, wah. <laughs> So I have a question for you guys. <laughs> if you could take that, three things to a desert, uh, des uh, desert island. Deserted island. Deserted desert island. <laughs> deserted desert take? island. Um, now, things or broad categories? Broad categories. Hold um, up. That um, sounds like a good question. That, for another episode. Thank you guys for watching, and you have a nice shit, night. 16 minutes.